Now I'd like to show you how to set up and use the SMTP Remote Photo Logger application. Begin by opening the Acquire Image and Send VI. There's an area where you need to specify your own Gmail account information. You have these four fields to fill out. Enter your Gmail account information right there. That is your Gmail address and then your username and password and also a recipient to receive the emails. You can adjust the other uh, subject and message in the body of the email if you're interested. I now have my USB webcam connected to Academic Rio via the Stratum X Hub. So I've double clicked on the Vision Express or Vision Acquisition Express VI. Back up here a little bit. This is my particular camera. Your camera is likely to look different. If it's not appearing, click Refresh. Once you've selected your camera, click here to check that you can in fact receive imagery from the webcam. I'm going to wave my pen in front of it. This happens to be a view of my desktop printer sitting next to me in my office. We'll keep that and you can adjust the video mode if you like. I'll just go with the default 640 by 480. Click next a couple more times. And then finish. And then take takes care of the necessary setup for this VI. We've configured it with our Gmail account information and the recipient and then connected the webcam. Now we need a USB thumb drive. I've presently got it attached to my PC. Just wanted to illustrate that the folder is empty at the moment. I'm pulling that out of the PC and attaching that to the X Hub. And uh, before I move on, let me show you how you can inspect the contents of that USB thumb drive through your browser. Note the IP address of Academic Rio. 172.22.11.2 in this case. Do slash files after that. You'll need to provide an admin account. Scroll down just a little bit and the thumb drive, that is the USB thumb drive, is right here in the U folder. No files are listed, again, because the thumb drive is empty. Let's open up the primary VI, the remote photo logger application. Fairly simple front panel. You simply adjust the acquisition interval in minutes and then run it. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will go with a shorter interval of 0.2 minutes and that amounts to 12 seconds. Let's go ahead and run. Takes just a little bit to compile and deploy and then run it on the target. Now I'll draw your attention to LED zero as well as the LEDs on your webcam and thumb drive. When LED zero goes on, as it does right now, it's acquiring the image, saving it to the thumb drive and then sending it as an email, uh, an attachment to an email. We'll do this a couple more times just so you can see it. Again, the LED zero is just turned on and just turned off. And a few seconds later, we should see it do this one more time. And then I'll go ahead and stop the application. So we've generated and sent three email messages and also captured three images to disk. And to confirm that, let's go back to the U drive and there's the images that were saved. Here's the date and the time in hours, minutes, and seconds. That's embedded in the file name for the JPEG image. Back in my email application, I have the three emails that have just come through. Let's look at one of those. Here we have the attached image here is the body text, and let's double click that. Looks pretty good.